Hey guys, I'm seeing messages online, people confused about how to book their Camino trip. Uh, in some of the videos I go over how to pack your backpack, what to bring, and where to fly into the, so that uh, you have uh, the easiest access to get to the start of the Camino. In this one, I'm going to go over real quick the different apps you can use to book uh, your flights, book your, your rooms, and uh, other travel arrangements. Uh, the first uh, site that I use is Google Flights. You can use any one of the um, any one of the uh, travel booking services. There's, uh, you know, tra Travelocity or, or any of those is fine. But uh, I do I usually just use Google Flights and um, and I just book a one way uh, ticket because I may want to extend my trip. I don't know when I want to come back. Uh, once I'm there, it's nice to stay longer. So, uh, so I book one way, and then uh, in uh, the upcoming Camino on May 1st, uh, I'll be going with my son. We're going to fly into Paris. Uh, you can also fly into Madrid. That's the other easy location. Um, you know, and uh, you get you catch a train from those locations. So Google Flights to book your flight. Um, the trains you're going to use an app called Omio. O M I O. And it's available. I have it on on my uh, Samsung phone. I'm sure it's available on iPhone as well. Um, but that's where you'll book buses and trains. They do have some flights on there as well. But just to keep it simple, I usually just use the Google Flights for the plane bookings, and uh, and I stick to Omio for my train tickets. And those are generally good all over Europe. Uh, if you're traveling around Europe, um, you can purchase your tickets online through Omeo, and uh, in a lot of cases they have the electronic ticket. So uh, that's going to get you down to St. John Pied de Port. Uh, the, the Omeo will get you on the train and then there's it goes to Bayonne usually and, um, and then you'll transfer to a bus and that'll take you over to St. John Pied de Port. If you're traveling out of Madrid, you're going to take the train up to Pamplona and then you're going to catch the bus from there that takes you over to St. John Pied de Port from there. So, uh, so that's it. As far as booking, uh, booking your bed, booking places to stay each night, you really don't need to book once you're on the Camino. The first couple of days can can uh, it gets a little tight if you're if you're uh, not a fast walker. Uh, the mainly everybody's starting from St. John Pieta Port, so there'll be a crowd of people, and it's like starting a marathon. Everybody's sort of bunched up. And they're all going over the Pyrenees Mountains, and they all get into the first town of Roncesvalles uh, in the same day. There's there's several hundred beds available, uh, you know, at the old monastery or uh, a couple other hotels there in in that town. And then there's another town, uh, about, I think three or four kilometers later. But uh, but if you want to pre-book your uh, your uh, your your bed for the first. I suggest for the first three nights, St. John Pied de Port, Roncesvalles, and then Zubiri is the other one that's kind of a, a tight squeeze because it's a small town with limited beds and everybody's still kind of bunched up. Once you hit Pamplona, there's really no need to pre-book, at least not until you get to Soria, which is the last last five days of, of the of the trip. So uh, all that uh, time in the middle, you don't need to pre-book. There's, there's towns everywhere and there's generally plenty of uh, beds available. So uh, you'll get used to it when you get there. The, the, the nice part about being on the Camino is not having a schedule, just drifting and enjoying the peace and quiet and, uh, and not feeling the anxiety that, that you would feel back at home about, you know, finding a place to stay. So, uh, so the sites that I use for uh, booking the beds uh, are booking.com. They have an app uh, so just download the booking app. Um, you can also use, um, in some of the major cities, if you wanted to get spread out and get an apartment, um, if you, you know, if you're going with friends and you want to get a larger space, uh, usually the larger cities is the better place to do that. So you'd look at Pamplona, Burgos, Lagrano, and Leon, um, where you might, you might go on Airbnb to get an apartment. And then, uh, hotels.com is another one. Hostel World is uh, is the uh, other site, or you can just use the Google Maps. A lot of times, Google Maps will, um, you know, have have better information, and it generally does quote you prices. And um, and the nice thing about Google Maps is it's a, it's a very convenient if you want to be make sure if you're coming into Burgos, you want to make sure uh, that you're staying close to the cathedral. 
that's what I that's what I did last year, and I got this beautiful room that that looked right out at the cathedral, so close you could almost touch it, and it was like 40, 40 euros for the night. So I I spent a little more money to get that nice room to be watching the sunrise through the through the you know the cathedral tower. Uh, so uh, that's it. So mainly I use Booking.com, I use Amio for the uh, buses and trains, and I use Google Flights. Uh, to get my my flight over there um, and then uh, and then about you know halfway in the Camino you might get an idea of when you're gonna finish and whether you want to stay longer and see some other cities in Spain or go down to Portugal and uh, and you can uh, book it then uh, leaving coming home from the Camino is a little trickier uh, Santiago's not um, you know they have a small airport regional airport, but you're going to want to get to a more major airport. So you'd either head back to Madrid. I think it's a five hour train ride uh, from Santiago, or you can take a two hour bus ride down to Porto, Portugal uh, for about 25 euros. Uh, the bus will get you down there and Porto is an international airport. So you can get just about anywhere uh, from there. Um, and uh, uh, that's about it. That's uh, subscribe to my channel for more information on how to how to load up your backpack, what to bring, and uh, and any other information on the Camino.